Your Excellency, Mr. President, sir, is clearly, cleverly attempting, you are attempting to walk the path of changing the Constitution to retain control of state power, while even outside, through a facade of democracy, is not present. We must vehemently reject this new tactic. Your Excellency, sir, Mr. President, is trending on a very dangerous, dangerous path of militarizing the state, killing devolution, and indeed other independent offices to serve the pleasure of the executive. I say this in mind with the judiciary that has been compromised, uh, devolution has been compromised, it has been weakened and captured by, and the parliament has been captured. The judiciary itself as an independent office has received an onslaught that I'll talk about a little later. I want to warn the people of Kenya to bring to their attention that they will collectively or we shall collect, collectively bear the brunt of the executive's democratic regression. Freedoms, real and imagined, are going to be curtailed, even as economic deprivations and inequality deepen. For Kenya to remain a truly democratic country where the rule of law thrives, our president must accept the reality his term is coming to an end. He must ensure a peaceful transfer of power in 2022 as he goes home. And we will want to support him in that particular exercise as members of the Jubilee and also as Kenyans. Kenyans will regret for a long time if they allow the executive or his excellency Mr. President, with the help of hired political mercenary, mercenaries, and there are several of those people who are praying around there, the Right Honourable Raira Odinga being one of those people, Mr. Murathe, Mr. Atwori, and others that you have seen. Mr. President, attempt to force a constitutional amendment is the highest level of betrayal of the oath of office that he took and the constitution he swore to defend and protect. He should not be allowed to extend his power, his stay in power in whatever form, whether direct or indirect or through proxy.